In this video, we're looking at how to set up a remote access to your home network using Cloud Connect. So we need to be logged into Admin UI, and then we're going to try to connect our network to Cloud Connect. So as you can see, I'm on Admin UI, Expand Networks, and then we're going to click on Networks. Uh, click on Add Network, and obviously this is a remote access, so we select Remote Access and then click on Continue. We're going to give a name to our uh, network here. I'm going to call it RDP Home, and then a name for the connector so I can distinguish this uh, connector from the rest of them. So RDP Home Connector is going to be the name of this connector. And then the region that your network is located. Uh, my network is in Chicago, so I choose Chicago, then click on Next. Here is where we're going to install the connector. We're going to use a Windows server in our home network. And as you can see, there are three steps here. Uh, first, downloading the Connect app. Then we have to run the OpenVPN Connect app as a service. And then we enable uh, NAT and routing on Windows Server. So I'm going to download the Connect app. And then uh, once downloaded, I'll open it and extract the files. So as you can see, the zip file is downloaded down here. Let me double click. And I'm going to extract the two files. One of the file is the installation file, and the other one is the profile that we're going to use. So double click on the installation file uh, to install um, the Connect app. I already have it installed, but I'm just going to double click on the profile to uh, import the profile. Click OK here. And uh, RDP Home, as you can see, click on Connect. So um, our uh, connector is connecting right now. And here we go, we're connected. So for step two and three, as you can see, run OpenVPN Connect App as a service and enable routing and NAT on Windows Server. You click on each of these links, you're going to get a page open like um, th this one. Let me switch the browser. Uh, here we go. Uh, like this one, step by step, how to uh, uh, enable routing and NAT. And then obviously for the other one, how to enable um, a run uh, the Connect app as a service. Once you're done with everything, click on Next, and the connector status is connected. It's online. We get the green light. Now, we're going to add the applications. These are the applications that we want to uh, have access to uh, from a remote uh, setup. Um, as you can see, I got a shared folder on the server with files and music. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, that here. So get, let's give it a name. It's going to be shared. Uh, my domain is going to be home.local. Uh, I'm going to type it here. And then for the ports or application types, uh, ones that we need, it's going to be for the SMB port. So let's choose custom and then TCP. And then I'm going to type the ports for the TCP and UDP ports. So for SMB, it's going to be um, 139, 445. And then for UDP, it's going to be um, 137 and 138, and then click on Submit. And uh, we're going to uh, click on Add. And as you can see, the shared folder is added. Click on Next. We don't have any IP services here, so I'm just going to skip through this one and then go uh, all the way to the bottom of the page. Click on uh, Next. And then here, you can create an access group. Who you want to have give access to shared uh, folder. So I'm going to create one access group. I'm going to call it Home RDP Users. Uh, let's choose my tech support group I already set up. And then the, whole, uh, the network is going to be my RDP Home, uh, the shared application that we set up. Click on Create, and our uh, access group is being created, as you can see. Once we're done with everything, we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Finish. So our network is connected to Cloud Connect. So as you can see, the status is online. If I look at under applications, our shared application or folder is here. And then if you look at the connectors, it's going to show our connector online. Now the next step is creating a DNS record for our shared.home.local. So click expand settings, go to DNS, and then under DNS records, we're going to add that by clicking on a plus sign. And we're going to type uh, share, uh, shared.home.local. Now, I need the IP address for the server that the uh, shared folder is setting on. So let me do an IP config here. And uh, here we go. This is the IP address 
that uh, I can copy and paste in here and uh, click on uh, create to create the DNS record. Now, keep in mind here, we're uh, just uh, doing a shared folder on the server. This can be a NAS drive, it can be a print server, it can be another machines. You know, uh, whatever it's on your network, you can create an access to it by uh, setting up DNS record and adding it under the applications, uh, basically for the RDP home network. Now let's go to users. If you remember, tech support uh, people are the people that they can access the RDP home. So uh, we got Braden here, part of the tech support. I'm going to minimize the server and I'm going to come back to my local machine, uh, open up the connect app, and here we go. I'm going to connect with Braden. And we are connected. Let me bring my uh, run box here for a second. And uh, I'm going to try to access shared.home.local uh, from my laptop here in Southern California. If you can remember, my home network, for example, sitting in Chicago. And here we go, I'm, uh, I'm uh, connected to the shared folder. So uh, anything on the shared folder, I have access to it if I have permissions. Now, again, this can be a NAS drive, that can be a print server, it can be another server, it can be anything on your network that you would like to give access to, uh, to your remote users. So if I double click on the shared folder, you can see I got access to my files which is another folder, and I have access to my music, which is another folder on the, my shared drive. So this is how you uh, set up a remote access to your home, home network using uh, Cloud Connexa.